Greetings one and all. Things are going well. I've finally finished spraying all 40. I said 40, 4 zero, pots on my desk. But anyway, so far so good. It all seems to be holding up, so I'm hope, hoping that's in the past. And also, every now and then, my old uh, netbook, which I use over here, just for the audio with Audacity, every now and then it would crash. Not very often, but it would ruin a take, of course. I'd look and think, ugh, it's frozen. I had a rummage, and uh, the Audacity that I was running was a later version than the XP one, so I put an earlier one back on. Not as pretty, but so far so good. So, here we are. Proximity. Proximity. Let me tell you something about it. Well, I got it from the DPA website. Very simple explanation. They say, Proximity is when a microphone produces more bass by getting closer to the sound source. They say, Proximity is when a microphone produces more bass by getting closer to the sound source. I think they go on to say that a figure of eight either side has the most proximity various um, cardioids, ones we use on stage have less and that an omni has none or very little, I think they say none so we're dealing with these which have some as we know the reason I came to think of this is that with this sure KSM8 when I was doing the um, previous video I'm going to go on to it now now I'm on the Shaw KSM8. I did notice. Now, if you've got headphones, your right mic will be nice. If you've got headphones, you'll notice there's, that, there's some handling noise there. It's quite sticky. And when I get that d juddering one, that's pretty low. It's pretty low stuff. Back on the 33. So I thought, um, what's going on there then? Because it's got this dual diaphragm designed to cut proximity, but it doesn't seem to cut base coming from there so I've just been trying to figure it out and I thought I'd play around as the easiest way for me so I thought maybe it maintains the base but just doesn't boost it when it's close to the mouth if you get what I'm saying in other words it does maintain the base which is why it comes through here with some other by some other means but the way it's designed it cancels I think it's got two diaphragms which cancel one cancels some of those low frequencies out. So I thought, yeah, so maybe um maybe that base is really is there. It's just not boosted. So I thought I'll compare it to the SEV seven MK, which is quite extended. It's quite a low end. First of all, let's have a look at the uh the graphs so you can get some idea what I'm talking about. So looking at the graphs there. On top is the MK. And you can see that actually without the proximity, it starts dropping off around about 100. Guess what? So does the KSM-8. Just out of interest, through the middle, KSM-8 is very flat. So is the, um, the MK. Then there's a lift from both of them from around 2K just before. And um, what can you say? Well, the MK is quite smooth and extended, stays there. The KSM-8 goes up and down and then drops off at 10K quite sharply. Supposedly, the VK, the MK, goes on to 20 kilohertz. Hmm. Looking down the other end, then I put a blue line, so that's about as low as I ever go. About 55 hertz. Actually, I've been playing with things and got a bit lower, but not really much use, just fun. And uh, so you can see there with the uh, two feet away, which both the, the KSM-8 is two feet away, the lower trace of the MK is two feet away, and they look fairly similar. Uh, down at my lowest note, the KSM-8 is down 10 dB, just above, and the, yeah, uh, so the, the the MK is down about five, four or five, so hasn't lost so much even two feet away. And then 
of course, with the MK, when you get into six inches, it's pretty much bang on flat. It's got a little hump before, of course, but for my voice, that but I say. And then, of course, usually with systems and with human hearing, you need a bit of help, and I can't produce much volume. So for me, it's quite useful at the two inches to have that uh, boost of about eight dB on the MK. So that's what they look like, but uh, we're more interested in what they sound like. By the way, the KSMH 399 pounds, did I say that? Oof. That's a lot. I know there's a lot of intricate stuff going on, apparently. Uh, have a look on the website. Um, that's just here. So this is the, the KSM-8. I'm going to go between them now. Oh, I'll go between them and the, the SV-33 maybe to start with. This is the KSM-8. This is the KSM-8. Sounds you know, sweet enough, isn't it? It's nice. It's kind of, uh, what's the word somebody used about the SMB? Sure, S, is it B, F? Comfortable. Yes, I'd say it's comfortable sounding. Comfortable sounding. Bring it in a bit there. Comfortable sounding. Yes, in coming there. Sounds comfortable to me. This is the SV-33 coming up. Now I'm on the SV33, which is firmer, particularly in the ah, 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 ah place. Ah, 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 which maybe sounds a little bit subdued. Is that that little dip in the frequency uh, graph we saw? Just a little dip in the center there? I wonder. Ah, ah, ah. Anyway, there we go. Let's move on to the MK, see if I can do my trick with the hands, which I know some of you don't like, but you know what, what am I going to do? Set up mic stands? I don't think so. So... Now I'm on the MK. Now I'm on the MK. And noticing moving straight across, I noticed that that uh, 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 is restored somewhat, though not as much as the um, 33, I don't think. And I also noticed already there uh, 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 a little bit of that. Uh, uh, back to the 33. Now I'm back on the 33. I'm going to move away a bit. Now I'm on the 33, which is just way more open, of course. Um, so let's leave the 33 out of it now. And... Um, I'm going to use go between these two at different distances and see what we can pick up. This then is the KSM-8, kind of two feet away. The KSM-8, kind of two feet away. This is the MK, kind of two feet away, which possibly needs to be a bit louder. This is the MK, the MK, two feet away. The MK, two feet away. The KSM-8, two feet away. The KSM-8, two feet away. It's difficult to say there. There's a difference between say, 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 say. I think it's, uh, yeah, what we heard earlier. There's a bit more ah, 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 which is a bit sunken on the KSM-8. Let's bring them in a bit closer. Back on the KSM-8. Now I'm on the KSM-8 around there. Now I'm on the KSM-8. You can tell it's closer. Not really too much of a tonal change, I don't think. Now I'm on the K, uh, on the MK. Now I'm on the MK. Now I'm on the MK. I can hear uh, uh, that creeping in. Now I'm on the KSM-8, quite close. You can tell it's close somehow because of all that. I don't know. It just changes in the voice. I'm in the K KSM-8, KSM-8. This is the MK. This is the MK, and we can start really to hear that now. The MK. Now this is the KSM-8, quite close. This is the KSM-8, quite close. This is the MK. This is the MK where we're really starting to get that in there, the um, proximity, coming closer still. This is the KSM-8. This is the KSM-8. This is the KSM-8. This is the MK. This is the MK. This is the MK. Staying on the MK. So you can just hear as I continue to talk, continue to talk, continue to talk, continue to talk. Sorry about the hand. That's me. Let me just stop fiddling. Continue to talk, 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 continue to talk until it's just too much. The KSM eight. Continue to talk, 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 continue to talk until it's there. And it's not even too much there, it's just too close for it's just too much. So what they say works, it seems to me. Now, my question is well, I did have this question because of that because of this, which is very low. But looking at the graph, at two feet, now I wish 
these graphs. I wish, well, I would like it. If there was some sort of standardization, man. Come on, show the proximity trace. Now, what I thought I'd do is try two things. Uh, one is, I'm gonna fiddle with the EQ, seeing as a pot's all sprayed. Oh, now we'll find out there's a load of crackle. Uh, let me do a reducer. Police officer, now give me a reducer. So I'm gonna reduce the base on the MK. This is the KSM-8. I'm gonna hold it the kind of distance I might use it averagely. This is, this is the KSM-8, this is the KSM-8. This is the MK, so I can hear that. This is the MK, let me take the bass down. This is the MK, this is the MK, this is the MK, this is the MK, is that too much? Is that about right? This is the MK, this is the KSM-8, this is the KSM-8, this is the MK, this is the MK. I do notice with the something about the KSM-8 is a bit, I don't know what to say. Uh, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this seems more open. Anyway, we're not doing that, we're looking at the bass. So, that's quite similar. Does it hold out when I get closer? Now I'm on the KSM-8. Now I'm on the KSM-8, bringing it in quite close, and it's got its prox has a proximity cut. So bear in mind, when I move to the MK, the proximity is still there. It's just that everything below on either side of ish 80 hertz is reduced anyway. So it's a little bit different, isn't it? So this is the KSM-8. This is the KSM-8. This is the MK. This is the MK. Hmm, I haven't done a bad job, I don't think. Let's come right in. This is the KSM-8. This is the KSM-8. This is the KSM-8. This is the KSM-8. This is the MK. This is the MK. This is the MK. I think I've got that about right. Now I'm on the MK. I'm just going to put it back to flat. Now I'm on the MK. Now the MK is back to flat and you can hear. Uh, uh, uh. All right. I'm quite pleased with that. So, oh. No. I haven't finished. Sorry. This is the MK and I've got to put it back to where it was. All right. So, this is EQ'd. Now let's see from a distance because now when the proximity goes on the MK and I've cut the bass but there's not the boost from the proximity am I going to lose some of the low end whereas I'd expect the KSM-8 to remain fairly similar. This is the KSM-8 moving it away. This is the KSM-8 from there. This, uh, this is the KSM-8 here. This is the KSM-8 here. This is the MK here. This is the MK here. This is the KSM-8 here. I think that's the case. It's still holding up a bit more, I think, on the KSM-8, I think. This is the KSM-8. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, 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 ah. So you can hear now that the MK is thinner. What does it mean? Take them further away. Ah, 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 MK. Ah, 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 MK EQ'd, remember. Ah, 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 KSM-8. Ah, ah, ah. ah. Ah, 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 KSM-8. Ah, 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 KSM-8. Ah, 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 MK. Ah, 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 starting to get nearer. Near in tonal qualities to each other and nearer to our mouth now. Ah, 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 KSM-8. Ah, 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 KSM-8. Ah, 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 MK. Ah, 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 maybe, uh, mm. Yeah, ah, ah, more of that, but we knew that from before. That seems to be uh, a characteristic of the KSM-8. Never mind the EQ I've been doing. Closer still. Ah, 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 KSM-8. Ah, 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 KSM-8. Ah, 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 MK. Ah, 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 MK. Ah, ah, finally. Ah, 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 KSM-8. Ah, ah. Ah, KSM-8. Ah, 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 MK. Ah, ah, ah. 33. Ah, 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 33. Ah, ah, ah. What an expansive experience. Which you'd expect. Ultimate muse. Hmm. Let's just see. That pretty much was, but just in case. Ah, ah, ah. Mm. 
my conclusions, cautious conclusions are, yes, like the graph says, there simply isn't, without even without the mind proximity, there simply isn't the low end. Many people wouldn't need that. Beyond that, it does seem to keep a fairly even um, proximity. There's some, as it gets closer, seems to me, but it seems to be very even. There isn't that, um, on some mics, it's very sharp, like the bio, biodynamic M500, uh, V96R. You have to learn just to do that when you're close because it's uh, very sudden. So very e smooth in that way. Well, there's one other thing I was going to do, so that's, that's pretty much it. You can listen for yourself. One other thing I was going to do is, yeah, whilst we're on proximity, is let's see um, what pitch does it affect? And what does it come into effect? Well, we saw around about 500. So let me try something a bit higher. I'm going to go on the M um, on this, which actually, actually they say has got a gentle proximity as well, but it has got it. But yes, very gentle as you get closer. So um, what have I found here? So you can hear a little bit of lift there, very subtle, even at that pitch, which is going to be female territory. KSM8. Mm -hmm. Difficult to say, I think a little, but mm, yeah, not really. Well, I don't even know what I'm saying. You can tell it's getting closer, but there's not really much in the way of proximity, I don't think. The bass boost. Uh, uh, MK. A hint right at the end. Well, I think that's enough of that. I've kind of said my conclusions. Well, overall then, yes, I think what they say works. To some extent, yeah, it does, seems to me. So anyway, it's not really about these mics, it's about proximity effects. So I hope that that uh, has given you food for thought, or perhaps it's confused us all even further. <laughs>